All right, race fans, we are honored to be joined by the high side tickler, Kyle Strickler. Uh, Welcome to Cedar Lake, uh, first first appearance. Uh, I've been here twice in a modified before this, and um, uh, this is my first time in a late model, and I'm very, very happy to be here. I, I, uh, I didn't realize I had that many fans up here, and uh, <laughs> the fans have definitely come out in uh, in numbers here to support uh, support me, whether they like me or not. They love that nickname, so I've heard about For 100 sure. people come over and, and talk to us last night, and we're about sold out of shirts already, so uh, um, it's been awesome. I wish we'd be running a little bit better, but we'll get that handled. It's uh, it's uh, it means so much to me to have that much support from the fans. Awesome, yeah, yeah. Well, welcome, yeah. We're very happy to have you, fans. Just a reminder: I got nailed with this rock in the head last night. That's why I'm looking crazy. So, um, but you know, as far as I know, no brain damage. All right? yeah. But I know many of you will argue this, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah. So anyway, back to Kyle here. So you hail out of North Carolina, and you've yep. been a modified ace for many years. So. Um, I guess, you know, because I am so new to you and I think many of the fans are just, you know, can you go through the progression of how you got racing and why a mod and, and that kind of thing, just kind of your history. Yeah, a lot of people don't don't know that I am originally from Pennsylvania and I ran Northeast Big Block Modifieds and then I moved down south to uh, pursue my racing career in, in 2006. Wow. And uh, um, it's kind of like moving to Hollywood and trying to be an actor. You know, I moved to Race City USA in Mooresville and uh, it took me a while to get going and I finally got a, a, a ride with a an IMCA UMP style modified and um, did that in 2009 to um, up till last year I ended up uh, driving, uh, driving for the Wells and they got me started in my first big late model ride and um, did that last year and, and then um, you know decided to come back to Mooresville and, and start my own or get a, get a late model with uh, with my modified team here and, and uh, try to come race with the big boys which has been been tough, but uh, we've had we've had some uh, signs that that we can run with them, and and um, I mean we're here now, so it's uh, living the dream, as yeah. they say, running around, traveling our country, getting the race um, race full time. Yeah, awesome. So, being here in Mooresville, have you do you have asphalt aspirations, or have you tried, or you been in a car down there with anything with asphalt? Uh, I I did. That was when I first moved down there. That was what I wanted to do, and um, we've run two um, Craftsman truck races, and. Oh, nice. uh, and, but it was on the dirt at Eldora, so. Oh, okay. Um, which last year we had a really good truck. I drove for David Gillen, and, uh, who was actually the first team that I worked for when I moved down south. Was, I worked for David Gillen's um, uh, Hype Motorsports with his, with his Bush team at that time. and um, So that was cool, but um, now, I, I mean, this dirt race is how I make a living. So if somebody came knocking on the door and, and asked me if I wanted to go uh, asphalt racing, of course I would, I would try to, to take that opportunity, but um, it's just uh, it takes so much money and some you know even the guys that that uh, have money are you know it's it, it's it's hard just to, to even get up enough money to, to run any of that stuff it's uh, even the rich guys are broke when it comes to, to, to <laughs> yeah. NASCAR racing so sure, sure. yeah well, what's that old theory if you have a lot of money and you want to go racing you'll turn it into a little yeah little money or something to, like you that. know how to make a lot or how do you make a, a little bit of money in racing is start with a lot yeah yeah there you yeah. go that's what it is that's what it is perfect so okay so like I said you've won a lot of big races in the mod uh, you're, you're, you're transitioning to a late model, or are, are well, I guess I should ask it, are you transitioning to a late model? Are you kind of doing 50-50 mod lates, or is it still leaning more mods? Uh, more last lates? year we ran uh, we ran some, some mod races, but I actually uh, just sold one of my last complete uh, mods that we had at the shop, and the uh, only, only mod I have left is an IMCA modified that we ran at, uh, at Batesville and, and got, got wrecked. It needs a clip, and then there is a new R&D uh, Longhorn at my shop too as well, but... Uh, right now we're focused a lot on the late model and um, you know modified stuff is my bread and butter and, and I, I still love it and um, you know if we have time I'm probably gonna go run some uh, go run some modified races but the way it's been this year is um, it's been so hard just to get any kind of racing going um, with the COVID deal and, and, and now you know the modified races aren't paying what they did last year or, or in years past so um, the late model is kind of what our focus is right now and uh, that's not to say that if, if some big mod races show up that we'll that we, we might go to them so um, we're just racing for a living and trying to do what we got to do to make some money pick your spots sure sure all right so now back in june show up at eldora first time in a late model at eldora uh yes first yeah, okay. time in a late model at eldora, so, yeah. okay so you win the one of the uh, qual was it Qualifier, qualifying yeah, feature on first thursday, night, thursday yeah. night yep clearly i mean fist out the window yeah. i was watching it clearly pumped kind of walk me through that um eldora has always been you know so important to me it's it's you know probably my favorite racetrack in the country and uh, I like going to, to a place like that where you can perform on a big stage in front of a lot of people and and uh, everybody was watching online there because you know, couldn't have any fans but um, 
yeah, we weren't even voted in, and we were an alternate, and then uh, got right. in on an alternate. Yes. So we weren't That's even really right. supposed to be there because it was invitational only. So uh, fortunately, some guys didn't show up and or couldn't make it. So we got, but we got brought in as an alt alternate and um, went up there and and showed them why we should have been there. So um, you know, the, the late models when they're right and you have everything together and, and the car's on, it's it's uh, so much easier than when you know if you miss them a little bit. Um, they can be miserable to drive. You know, the modified, I feel like you can um, you can kind of move around a little bit more, or, or if your car's not 100% right, you can really, um, you know, make up the difference in the seat. The late models are really tough to do that. You have so much grip, and and the guys, the, the competition is so good. I mean, even looking at last night, I was I was looking at the guys that we were racing for in the back of the pack, and it was, you know, Scott Bloomquist, Darrell Lanigan, and Kyle Bronson. That there's no, there's no scrubs out here at all. So everybody's, everybody is, um, is on top of their game but um yeah our car was just on point that night and um we brought vinnie guliani on and and um he's been in the late mile world for a long time and it's very important um to me and being able to work with bill steen and all those guys um has helped me a ton so um yeah everything came together at eldora and i was i was so excited to to, to go there for my first race in a late model and and be able to pull up on that stage and uh, and I, I wish there was fans there because that kind of uh, you know that's part of it at when in Eldora you get up on that stage and this the crowd goes wild so um, I love that place and that's kind of was our big big win for the year so hopefully we can top it with uh, Saturday here yeah right yeah. there you go that's yeah. right just keep building up that momentum well speaking of fans and no fans in Eldora a lot of fans here like you said and we have a special thing here at Cedar Lake called the fans fund and you were the number one vote getter so congratulations on that so uh, I guess what does that mean to you uh, it's cool to absolutely huge and uh, uh, no matter what, no matter how we run, we at least have some uh, some guaranteed money, and um, the fans are such a big part of my career, and, and for all of us, you know, it, it means so much to me to, to not only just to get voted in and be part of the Fans Fund deal, but to be number one out of everybody, that's that's awesome. So um, I'm, I'm very honored to be here and, and uh, really love all the support we get from the fans, and it's, the Fans Fund deal is an awesome thing that they do here, and um, of course the, the 50000 to win on Saturday is great, but um, the reason we came up here was for the fans fun deal and for the fans and to, to show them that uh, how much we appreciate their support and um, come up here and get to meet everybody. Yeah. Well, I don't want to jump ahead because we're already talking about Saturday night, but next week, are you going to be able to get down to the North South End? And, and yep. That one? Yep. Well, uh, we've been in Florence. I've been to Florence a bunch. And uh, when I drove for the Wells, we would go there. It was pretty close to their shop in Kentucky. Um, so I raced there a bunch. And um, um, yeah, we're definitely planning on going there for that. And then I think we're going to go to Batesville too for that 50,000. Oh, so a lot of big races coming up here. and. Um, that's how you gotta gotta do it when you're making racing for a living. You gotta get on the road and, and try to win some big races. Well, Ryan Ao, this interview is for you. I know he's one of your heroes, the high side ticker, ladies and gentlemen. You know, you know, like I said, thanks for coming. Best wishes uh, uh, tonight and tomorrow night, and uh, go get them. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, like I said, I, I can't say enough uh, about the uh, about the fans and how much they mean to me and mean to this program. So that's the reason we do this. And um, hopefully, we'll we'll uh, have her dialed in for for tomorrow night or tonight too. And, and uh, hopefully we can put it in a winter circle for all these great fans. Awesome. Best wishes. Thank right. you.